Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Force here once again with some more StarCraft 2 commentary. Today's game is going to be between Unix and Acer Bly. This is going to be a Terran versus Derg, Unix versus Bly here in the map Shakuris Plateau. Uh, typically I do come out with some recent tournament information, however this time I think we are going to look at some ladder information. Starting over here in the upper right hand spawn position is our blue Zerg player Acer Bly. Uh, Bly is the 69th ranked Grandmaster on the European ladder with 40 wins and 40 losses, putting him at a dead even 50% win ratio. His opponent over here in the upper left hand spawn position is our red Terran player Unix. Unix is also a Grandmaster on the European ladder, currently the 32nd ranked Grandmaster. He has 129 wins and 100 losses, giving him a 56.33% win ratio, so winning a bit more games than he's losing at the moment. Both these players very strong. This should be an exciting matchup, and I'm looking forward to getting this underway. And now, as we can see, they are spawning in that close air position location, so that does mean this first Overlord Scout of Bly will be spotting Unix's base in just a moment. He'll be in there in a few seconds, and once he gets to about here is when he'll actually spot the fringe of the command center, and I'll be able to see what Unix is doing now. Speaking of what Unix is doing, we aren't seeing a barracks at that typical 12 supply mark, and the fact that he's queuing up SCVs is going to lead me to believe that he's planning ex uh, expansion first here. We'll be getting a command center at that natural expansion first and foremost. Bly now finally scouting out Unix, also moving out with a drone scout. So we'll be moving up here, seeing what additional scouting plus harassing he might be able to do there with that drone. Unix now moving down to his natural, coming out with that command center. Bly will spot it right away. Turns around, decides to harass. Now this will force Unix to come out with some SCVs to try to defend himself there. First SCV down, actually coming out with a second SCV as well. Trying to make sure he does not lose the building SCV, actually going to be repairing that at the moment. Sometimes you see repair, sometimes you'll see that Terran player just stop building with the injured one and continue building with that new fresh one. Because keep in mind, repairing does cost resources, so it is a little bit of a loss early on. And does that even show up? Yes, it does, so there you go. You can see, uh, oh no, that's Bly's resource loss, I'm sorry. That's uh, Bly's resource loss from canceling an extractor. He did that extractor trick earlier on. Spawning pool halfway finished right now. The Hatchery here at the natural just about finished as well We do have an SCV scout now moving out for Unix now again He spotted that overlord coming from that position so he knows exactly where Bly initially spawned So isn't even gonna bother checking that lower right and it just immediately goes to the upper right hand position Another overlord scout moving out towards Unix's base We also have this one just sitting tidy right here and now that this uh, Barracks is finished though. He should be heading out of there he wants to make sure of course he doesn't lose that Command center at the natural, now finish. It's going to turn into an orbital command once he's got those resources. And there's the overlord now finally heading out. Let's take a look over here. What do we have Bly doing with the spawning pool now finished? He does have two queens coming out as well as two zerglings. Zerglings right over here. They're going to be moving into the main, trying to get rid of that SCV scout. And there we go. Pushes up to engage Unix. is kind of SOL at the moment. I'm trying to steal some resources before he dies, but nothing doing. So Zerglings there, get the kill, Queen's finish, and there's a Roach Warren, uh-oh. Bly, very early Roach Warren here, he's going to be pushing out against Unix's expansion first, and this could be tough to defend here for Unix. Especially given the fact that it looks like we are, we are seeing a factory plus a reactor coming out, and this is going to mean most likely, of course, that we'll be seeing those double Hellions here from Unix, and uh, Hellions aren't very good at killing Roaches, not at all. Now the good thing for Unix is that with those Hellions, he can scout out those roaches as they move across the map, but is it going to be in time? That's the question. That factory just finishing about the same time as that Roach Warren finishes. Roach Warren now out. Seven roaches in production. And we, of course, are going to expect, expect Bly to push out with all of them immediately, pretty much. Wants to try to hit Unix as uh, early as possible. He's got nine in production now, ten in production. Heavy, heavy roach force, not actually even following it up with speed lengths. Sometimes you'll see... Yeah, seven, seven, eight roaches and then some, some zerglings thrown in the mix, but we don't have that metabolic boost here either because these roaches are so early, so I guess that'd be a little less effective. But heavy, heavy roach force right now coming out for Bly, and this is going to be tough for Unix to defend. Now he does have uh, two Hellions in play already with two more coming through. Roaches streaming their way across the map. I really wish those Hellions had moved out right now just to give himself a little bit more 
awareness of what's coming up because he has no idea at the moment. You should take a look at Unix's vision. He didn't have the tower, and he hasn't seen that Roach Horn, so he's got no idea at the moment. It's not going to be until he uh, pushes out with these Hellions if he does in time. So there you go, be moving out at the same time the Roaches move in. Roach is going to be going straight for that bunker. We got the mass SCBs pulled off the line. Going to go straight for repairing, almost getting the bunker, but the mass repair so effective, as you can see there. That's going to force Blind to try to target fire down those SCBs. Now going straight for the bunker again. They get it very low. SCBs get right back in time, though. Just enough time to repair that before it ends up dropping, and that was a perfect defense there from Unix. Really could not have gone better. The only uh, major concern, of course, is that he did lose a ton of SCVs, 10 total. And 10 may not seem like a lot, but this early in the game, it is certainly a hefty amount. Uh, Unix now preparing for a counterattack. Two Marauders, two Marines, and some Hellions walk into a bar. <laughs> Put, making the push right now. Hellions uh, first check in that third. Just wanted to see if Bly was uh, bold enough to try to go for a third with that Roach attack. Scan goes down. Allowing Unix to take out those creep tumors. Couple of roaches pushing forward. Those queens gonna help on that defense a lot. Queens just so much more effective now. Every time I see these early queen defense with that, the fact that they are uh, completely a ranged attack and no longer have to run up for that melee, it's just so much more effective than it was before that change went through. I know it was some time ago, but I'm just saying, every time I see it, I'm still impressed by it. Metabolic boost now finished here for Bly, and actually Bly moving out with his speedlings. Gonna try to cut off those Hellions? No. Ooh, tried to uh, chase down that bio. Pulling back. He's gonna take a little bit of losses here. Needs to be careful. Roach is moving forward, and that is gonna force those Hellions away. And actually, now it looks like Bly will be getting control of the center of the map. So Unix attempts that counterattack. Nothing doing, though. Let's take a look so far. Acer Bly is behind a bit. It's uh, about 450 resources behind, currently, where Unix is. Speaking of Unix, let's take a look at that transition. We do have uh, Siege Tech coming out. And that is finished, actually. And uh, we are seeing Siege Tanks in production. Also, Stim Pack Research. 1-1 one, one upgrades coming through out of these double engineering bays. So going very upgrade heavy. That means we're going to see him make a strong push towards 3-3 early on here in this game. Also, following up here with a Starport and another Barracks. So we're going to expect that transition here. It does look like into Marine Tank with Medivacs in the mix. That could be wrong, though. I mean, he's got he's got a couple of tanks, so he might just be using these for early game defense. And we may even see Bio plus Hellion. That's something else that uh, that can be certainly quite effective as well. So we'll have to see what Unix decides to do here. Taking a look back over at Bly. Bly's coming out with that third right now. A little bit over halfway finished. Macro Hatch up. He does have double evolution chambers. However, unlike Unix, uh, Bly is not coming out with those upgrades quite yet. And droning up a bit hard here. Which isn't really a bad thing. Also coming out with a Baneling Nest at the moment. And finally those 1-1 one, one upgrades start. So going with a Melee plus the Carpus upgrade. Unix now pushed up into his third position as a tank there for some defense. Marauders move forward to try to take out these uh, Roaches here. However, he gets met also by some Speedlings. Tried to pull back to the tank line. Unable to do so though. Fourth base also coming out for Bly here. Bly really focused on the macro right now. Just trying to get up a strong economy. Probably going to have to start worrying about drops sometime soon, though. We do have a reactor just about finished here on the starport. We'll have a total of five barracks in play. Once that finishes, a little bit of supply block here, which is always terrible to see. Hopefully he alleviates that soon. <laughs> also a sensor tower coming out, which is actually beautiful. A sensor tower placement is going to give him a really wide, uh, wide vision range to see pushes coming. And a major concern for Unix is pushes, pushes coming from multiple directions. That's what, of course, the Zerg player is going to try to do. Split up that, split up that siege fire, make it a little less effective rather than funneling in into one kind of a tight little group. Tries to split up his forces, get a full surround. So that that sensor tower position again, as you can see, gives him a really, really wide breadth here. Let's him see. What's coming for uh, quite a distance ahead? Couple speedlings uh, pulling on over, and actually they're going to be scouting up here. What's their purpose here? Yeah, it looks like they're trying to scout this position just to see if Unix has anything hiding around over here. Also has an Overlord scouting over here. I mean, he, he's got some good vision right now. I take a look at Bly at the moment. He's got some really good vision. He can almost see the entire map. In fact, Unix trying to pull forward needs to be careful. 
Also trying to bait those speedlings up into that siege line. Bly, uh, realizing that that's the case, decides to hold back. Lots of speedlings and banelings right now. Also, great creep spread at the moment. Spire coming through. Centrifugal hooks coming out for those banelings, which is that speed upgrade. Marine tank, marine tank. Hellions trying to roast that roach. They're bad at it, though. Oh, they get overwhelmed quite quickly. That roach is still alive. He's doing a little dance. He's so happy. I guess he's not really doing a dance, is he? 2-2 two, two upgrades coming out right now for Bly. Continuing up massive amounts of speedlings. 48 in production. Finally, the drops starting here for Unix, though. Moving out with this medevac. A lot of times you'll see a second drop to coincide with that. Is this Unix going to do that? Yeah, there we go. Why not fill it up, though, huh? Whatever. Going to be moving out with a second drop, and is going to be taking this path, so he will be scouted out by that Overlord. Again, uh, Bly's got some great vision right now, which is going to let him see precisely what's going on. Might have trouble with this drop, though. Marine's now pushing in this position. Queen starts to engage that Medivac. Gets it almost to 50%. Here come the Marines, though. Speedling's pushing on up over here, trying to do a bit of damage. You know, straight into the resource line for some splash damage against those SCVs. Now we also have that drop coming on over in this direction. This drop over here takes out the queen, starts to work down that hatch as well. Drop over here. Muta's meet that though. A quick demise for Unix's drop in the main. This drop though, oh there, it finally gets a force to lift off. And I think that's all he has at the moment, yeah. No other drops here coming from Unix quite yet. This medevac is still a threat, though. Six marines can do a lot of damage. Ten mutas in production, although uh, Bly hasn't been able to be offensive with those yet. This has uh, been stuck on defend mode against these drops. And this is buying Unix some time to actually move to the center of the map and kill off some creep tumors. As uh, Bly is distracted again by those drops. So nice, nice little tactics there by Unix. Take a look at the resources lost so far for both players. Pretty much dead even right now. Holy hell. That is almost exact. 3529 to 3531. Macro keeps up here. 3 3 upgrades coming out here for Unix. Unix also preparing to push across the map, moving his siege line. And it's forcing Bly back right now. He's concerned. Muta Harass really has yet to go underway, which is a little bit disappointing. He's actually going to try to push forward here with this. Let's see what he can do. There's a lot of marines there, he needs to be careful. He does have a hefty amount of mutas though. Just kind of baiting back and forth here, trying to pull that bio far enough away from the siege line to let the speedlings and banelings roll them over. Another expansion here for Bly. Bly going expansion crazy. Crazy, that's what he's doing. Forward scan from Unix. Unix continues to make his push towards the center of the map. Vulnerable position for the tanks. But uh, with those marines in the back and front, looks like that was enough there. Muta's moving forward. Just a couple marauders do so much damage to that hatchery. Here come the speedlings and bailings now. Take out the small force of bio. Get a lot of those marines there. It's going to allow those mutas to do some damage, forcing these marines to also come forward here. And uh, Unix should be able to continue to push on this hatchery and try to do some damage. Again, the Mutas really haven't been able, been able to push out against Unix to be offensive at all. And there it is, Marines, take out the hatch. As unfortunately for Bly, wasn't just able to get that position to push on in against him. A few command centers uh, just uh, kind of send down over here. These are actually going to both go into orbitals. This one pushing over here is probably going to be a planetary, though. Muta dance, the Muta and Marine dance going back and forth as the Mutas try to find a vulnerable spot to pick off tanks. They get one right there. Look at that. Now moving into this position, just continuing to dance around. Like vultures, man, like vultures circling their prey. Picking off tanks one at a time. Ugh. Oh. Unix is like, what the hell, what do I do? Time to leave. <laughs> Unix unseaging now. Actually moving towards the southern tower. Taking the opportunity of the Unseed Shank, here come the Spielings and Banelings. Also more Mutas joining the fun, and Unix completely overwhelmed in the center of the map. However, we do have a drop coming down over here. So more damage getting done to this hatchery. Unix hasn't killed off many workers at all, though. He's only killed off two workers so far this game. 
I thought I just missed like a huge worker kill over there, but that did not happen. Speedling's now pulling up into this uh, expansion position. Not sure how much damage he's gonna be able to do though. Doing what he can to that command center. Oh my gosh, is he gonna get it? Wow, speed lings. Managed to whittle that down. Stream of lings moving across the map also to meet Unix's forces. I cannot believe that he took out that expansion. That is hilarious. Speedlings and Banelings dancing back and forth here with the Marine tank line of Unix. Muta's trying to get themselves in a good position here and take out some tanks. Oh, he's got an opportunity. Moves forward. Oh, gets sandwiched though by the Marines. That was a little unfortunate. Trying to keep an eye here to see if any drops are uh, transpiring, but nothing yet. And the Speedlings and Banelings are going to take advantage of the fact that uh, Unix's tanks are all the way down there. Roll right into the expansion and drop it immediately. Wow, that was hilarious. Did you see how fast that orbital dropped there? Just combusted on itself. What a riot. So nice little um, nice little aggression there by Bly after pushing up, taking out this expansion, forcing Unix down over here to try to defend that spot. He just says, hey, let me take advantage of the speed of my speedlings and mutas, and uh, just hit on that position. How's that sound? Unix a little fed up, trying to make his way across the map. Now, once again, though, Bly's going to take advantage of those unseached tanks to push up on the position. It's going to be a little too many Marines here, though. And although he loses all but one of those tanks, he does have enough of a force to uh, stop Bly from pursuing any further. Nice creep spread. <laughs> Bly up in Unix's face here. Got some uh, more dropping action going on in this position. This base is still alive, though. Big push over here. Taking out the hatch. We do have some ultras now in play. Muta finding the medevacs here. Now take him out. Might see this one drop unless Unix isn't quite paying enough attention. So we do have that transition into ultras right now. Uh, that is going to force a few more Marauders out for Unix to help deal with that. Marauders, if target firing down those uh, down those Ultras, can do very, very well against them. See if there's any more dropping. Nope, that last Medivac got taken out. Speeling, Baneling, and Ultra now. We also have that plating coming up for those Ultras. That's going to put them at some just hefty amounts of armor. And the level 3 armor upgrade also almost finished. Another Medivac moving out across the map. Still dedicated, trying to take out this expansion. The spines proved to be a little bit of a problem, but... Oh boy, that infester needs to turn around. A few marines. Right over there, there we go, infester turning around. Our drones are under attack. Pulls off with the drones, and what the infester do? Where is he? Yeah, still just over there, I don't know what he's doing. Upgrade complete. Well, he's gonna lose the expansion. Infester, what are you doing? There's the fungal, a little bit late though, huh? That's unfortunate. Fortunate for Bly, great for Unix though. Unix able to take out that hatch finally after so much effort. One last fungal. Not enough damage, Queen! 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 Thank you. <laughs> Queen takes him out. <laughs> I'm not being one-sided. I just, like, there's no way that Medivac should have made it away alive, so. Good job, Bly. Finally able to do that. So uh, the drops now starting to be a little bit more effective here from Unix. This one, not so much though. That one quickly dealt with. Still only 10 workers killed though this game for Unix. Really not a lot. But I still managed to take out some of these hatches here. And we haven't actually seen a counterattack from, from a little, for, for a little while here from Bly. So that's of course a concern for him. Unix preparing for some more drops now. Two more medevacs gearing up to hit that main. Another uh, pair of drops over here. Let's get taken out by the speedlings, but Bly starting to get spread a little thin here with his forces. Now he's got a pretty sizable army in the center of the map, and if he can just get enough time to attack, he could do some damage. But again, we got two medivacs coming over here, two medivacs coming over here as well. So Bly needs to divert at least some of his forces to deal with this. And you can see again, Bly kept at bay. You're seeing his the large massive force on the minimap just moving back and forth, but unable to really push towards the center. And this this gives Unix the time to move out and hit these outlying expansions here. And I think that's he's just gonna keep trying to do that. Drop now coming over here in the third. Another drop moving up in this position as well. That one's not that effective. A couple speedlings and banelings plus the queens able to uh, divert that. Here it goes though, siege line. We got infestors 
Plus, the Ultra's pushing forward to try to take that out. All the bile is gone right now, and the Ultra's going to push through the rest of those siege tanks. So, uh, Bly able to defend this expansion. Still, they'll have a drop over here. Takes out Spawning Pool. Also, drop over here doing a lot of economic damage. Ouch. That hurts. Finally deals with that, though, but he has lost his Spawning Pool. And I do wonder if he built another one elsewhere. And we still have this drop over here after killing off a ton of drones. Finally, Unix able to get some drones. 34 drone kills. Still no counter-aggression. This is my concern. Still no counter-aggression from Bly. The most we've seen him do recently was take out this force in the center, which was certainly a lot. In fact, you take a look at the resources lost, and they're about even right now. It's pretty darn close. We still have these Medivacs and Marines over here, and another pair of drops coming again. Unix relentless here with this dropping action and Bly still just staying in that defensive position he can't move out with this just non-stop medivacs so Unix just doing the best he can to uh, to spread Bly thin and keep him on the defensive these medivacs here for Unix now heading back home Bly has a large ultra force and also getting a hefty amount of infestors Couple more expansions being built over here. This is a planetary, so that's going to be hard to push on for Bly unless he gets a large force. Another big drop from Unix over here and over here once again at the same time. This is uh, going to be the demise of the Spire, most likely. Nice fungal, but the Spire gets taken out in a matter of seconds. Another drop over here. I don't know if that's enough speedlings and banelings. It doesn't look like it is same time push coming across the center of the map to take out this expansion oh this is painful to watch Bly oh Bly a few ultras moving down force the lift off over here that expansion just disappears fungal growth and some infested terrans uh, yeah they're gonna get it should be enough Unix scanning taking all the creep tumors Bly uh, oh uh, tank sieging up oh boy was uh I think he had a little window of opportunity there but didn't push in time. Ultra Cavern almost getting taken out as well. Unix just surgically trying to remove this tech here. Spawning pool finally getting rebuilt for Bly, but man, Bly's taking some Bly's taking some abuse right now, huh? Oh my gosh, he's gonna lose. He's gonna lose it! The Ultra Cavern disappears. <laughs> Ouch! Man, Bly. Just, he can't deal with this non-stop drop harass that he's getting from Unix. Coming out now with a Spire and the Ultra Cavern. Drop now getting ready to move up into this position. And again, there's been no, unless I missed something, I don't think there's been any counter-aggression at all for a long time from Bly. Bly has just been in such a defensive mode. It's so frustrating to deal with you know he's got to make sure he's got enough forces to defend what he has and he's losing these expansions left and right now not only expansions but the tech now there's a large drop coming in his main and another large drop planned for this one this one's probably going to take out that expansion tanks coming in now too which is uh, a little painful here for Bly to deal with also a push coming across the center of the map so Oh, this is going to get taken care of. Yeah, that drop's doing nothing. Now moving up. Takes this out. No problem. Now he's going to deal with this, though. That's the next thing. He's going to deal with this. Pushing towards this. That expansion's gone. Ultra's gone. Spire's gone. Holy hell. SCV's coming to join the fun. Going to try to take out a spine crawler. We'll see how effective that is. Takes out this expansion. Why? It's got like no mining bases left. This is painful to watch. Bly getting worked here by Unix. Our SCVs, are under SCVs actually almost kill off a spine crawler. How hilarious is that? Why, you may ask, why is Bly throwing away SCVs? He's just freeing up supply to make more units. I think he realized the distinct advantage he has right now. You take a look at the income tab. Unix has got a strong economy. We've actually got a lot of minerals being mined. But still, 
Nevertheless, uh, things aren't looking so hot here for Bly. He's just taken some massive losses. Take a look at the resources lost. They're even because Unix, in taking out these hatcheries and in taking out that tech, has of course also thrown away units, but still. It's concerned for Bly. Let's see though. We got a lot of infestors, which means a ton of fungal growth against his bio heavy army. Wow. That says goodbye. Raven throws down a Seeker Missile, does some damage. I don't think he got too many kills, but was able to uh, soften up these guys quite a bit. Continue to push now, moving towards this expansion. At the moment, we've got a medevac over here, but no more drop, no more actual drops taking place here. For Unix. So now Unix is on the defensive. Now this medevac heading back home after taking some damage from the Queen. Again, a lot of infestors. Pretty much dumping their energy there, though, on uh, some infested Terrans. We still do have enough over here for some fungal growth, but not a lot of uh, really offensive units. I mean, he's got the fungal damage, of course, but he's only got a few Ultras here. He does have three more in production. Still, taking out that expansion certainly helped his cause. Also, a uh, Burrowed Zergling will be delaying the placement of this expansion. Now, after saving up a little bit more energy, he decides to continue his push here. Fungal on all those Marines. Ouchie. Wow. Watch Marines disappear. I've said disappear a lot this game. Well, that's what's happening. Things are just disappearing. Ultra being a little, uh, I know, he's a little wary about moving in. Kind of dancing back and forth. Wants to make sure he does as much damage as possible before losing his life. There we go. Finally gone. Seeker Missile. Nice micro by Bly. Peeling back. That one infester that was getting targeted down so that he didn't do any splash damage to the rest of his army. Speedlings coming out as well as a, another infester popping through. And now we're going to see Bly now move towards this expansion as he tries to take this out. No more drops for Unix. Got nothing like that going on. Now this expansion is going to be a goner. I mean, there's so much mule action going on. That's going to drop Unix's uh, economy significantly here once he loses this. Forces the lift off now. Is he gonna bother with infested Terrans? Yeah, doesn't want to waste the energy. So just holding off, he's content with just stopping the mining that was taking place here. Expansion planned for over here. Creep spread is going to delay that quite a bit. Bly continues to just mass up those speedlings and ultras. He's got plenty of infestors in play right now. Really doesn't need a ton more of those. As long as he saves up energy for our next big battle. Uh, now a concern here. For Unix is he doesn't have many more siege tanks. He's relying heavily on his bio right now. And the concern, of course, is how effective that fungal growth is against that bio. So something to think about, something to consider. Alright, here we go. Another push coming out for a blind, moving towards mining expansion of Unix. Forces the lift off quite easily. Ooh, that hurts. Loses two burrowed infestors without doing anything due to the detection of those ravens there. And yeah, the ravens are going to try to drop some seeker missiles here. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Seeker missile damage. He's going to escape these two though. Watch them fall to the ground. It's funny. It's funny. Laugh. We got a drop going on over here. <laughs> Takes out the expansion. I'm sorry I missed that. I was, yeah, that was bad. This drop takes out that hatch, which is actually pretty significant there. And we do also have the spire and the uh, spawning pool. So this is definitely a position that Bly is going to want to try to make sure he keeps an eye on to defend. Because he doesn't want to lose that spire again. Having the option to make those spielings is uh, pretty crucial. Pretty crucial indeed. So Bly holding back with a few forces to defend against that very thing. Make sure he keeps that tech, keeps this mining base as well. Remote mining with a ton of mules over here. What we're seeing Unix do at the moment. It looks like uh, Bly is going to respond to that immediately. Moving forward with his army. Take a look for those drops. Unix going down again. Forced to lift off. It's a fungal. It's not really doing much though. Uh, probably wants to save that for when they try to drop again, but what do I know? Breaks down the rocks. It's going to move forward and force a lift off. Also kill off all these mules here. Drop Base continues to move. Mutas get to engage it a little bit. There's the force lift off. And yeah, nothing doing here. He's in trouble. These medevacs are goners. 
Oh, the Mewtwo's not gonna chase him. What the heck? Why would you not do that? Oh well. Big push coming down over here. Fungal growth. Again, doing a lot of damage to that bio, and the Unsieged tank's not helping much either. Those Ravens taking a lot of fungal damage. Oh boy, look at that. Seeker Missile doing some damage there. Still, he's only got a few Ravens with Seeker Missiles left, and we still do have some uh, Speedlings and Ultras pushing, forcing the lift off. More Speedlings joining, more Speedlings in production. Another drop planned for this position over here. And I think he's going to get that off and actually do some damage. Forces the lift off over here. And just going to be sitting here at the moment. Now there, oh, there is a siege tank, at least one siege tank over here. There goes the bio. Drones forced to engage. It's going to be a tough, uh, tough fight there for them because we do have that meta back. More speedlings come though and that's going to be enough. That is more than enough. But he loses the hatchery. Oh, he doesn't. What? Holds on to the hatchery with 2 HP. Slowly regenerating itself right now. That is hilarious. Unix so close to taking that out. A small little drop. Even a, a single Marauder. We'll take that in just a moment, though. There it is. Follow-up medevac moving out, as he very well should. There's no reason to not finish that off. A couple of transfuses, though, might make that a little more difficult. As there is also some defense in this position. Mineral field depleted. Acer Bly appears to be ready to engage again. Attempted drop gets handled. Again, the transfuses are going to save this. As long as he's paying attention. There we go. So enough transfuses to save that hatch. Also a greater spire coming out. We've seen some brood lords here from Bly. That'll be, a, that'll be a tough situation for Unix to deal with, unless he can get them clumped up with some Seeker missiles. He doesn't really have much to deal with that, because there are, uh, there's still a few infestors to Fungal Growth Marines, and... Without any, without any real Viking numbers here, that could be a major concern for Unix. A few more transfuses as Bly again realizes the... Uh, the importance of this position. Would also like to see him come out with this expansion right here too, though. That'd be nice. Getting pretty mined out over here. He does have this expansion coming through. That got scanned. It's now spotted by Unix. We should see him probably just move out with a single medevac worth of units to take that out. Comes another drop from Unix. As long as Bly's paying attention to the mini map, he saw that. There it is. All set. No problemo, he says. I got it. Unix fairly well defended over here. Got actually a couple of auto turrets down. Corruptor's coming out. Goodbye to this force. That's uh, that's pretty bad for Unix at this late in the game. You can't be losing an army like that. He's able to drop and take out this expansion. That medevac's gone. Right now, we are seeing uh, we are seeing Bly drone up, which is something you don't see very often this late in the game. But again, after losing so many workers and so many expansions, he's uh, trying to make sure he can still maintain that healthy economy. Drop on the high ground here for Unix. Not a lot left in the main except for that Roach Warren. Of course, there was that Hive Tech, but it's going to take an eons to work that down. That drop handled. Still plenty of drop defense over here. And Bly just continues to work up his forces. He's got two hatcheries building right now. One over here and one in this position. And uh, we'll be interested. Yeah, finally here it comes. We are seeing those Corruptors come through. And that will be followed up with Broodlords once more. Greater Spire is in play. Broodlords will be hard for Unix to deal with. Those Ravens. Again, if we can see the Broodlords clumped up, then these Ravens with some Seeker Missiles can do significant damage to them. But... If Bly is able to keep those guys spread out and fungal growth the marines to stop them from getting underneath the brew lords, and those are going to be very effective. Very effective indeed. So there are the corruptors right now, rallied up into this position. Just a matter of time, uh, trying to save up his Vespine. Very Vespine intensive, so that's something to keep in mind. Here comes a push though, might not have time to get out those brew lords, we're seeing a big push come out. From Unix. Oh, that is a scary army. All those ravens plus that bio and tons and tons of medevacs. 
Again, he's holding on to that Vespine. Not anymore. Yeah, forget the uh, forget the Brew Lords, guys. He's forced to spend his Vespine gas on a ton of Banelings, realizing how much bio is out there. A couple of Fungal Gross on these Ravens. Going to try to whittle them down. Now, the Corruptors can be used to take out the Ravens. However, a point defense drone makes that a little more difficult. Here come all the Ravens. Also, a drop over here. That gets taken care of. Corruptors are quick enough to escape that. So he's all set. Scan checks the army here of Bly, and we're going to see Unix just uh, confidently move into this expansion here. Come the Speelings. And the Infestors, the Bailings. Oh, so much damage. Fungal Growth doing what he can, but there are so many Medivacs here that the healing power is just a bit too intense. And uh, doesn't quite have enough to take that out, and Unix still sitting with a strong army. Ravens this late in the game can be quite scary. Especially once they start to accumulate all that energy. Point defense drones, turrets, seeker missiles. It's a scary, scary thing. Three brew lords are coming out. We're gonna see some point defense drones. Uh, I'm sorry, some seeker missiles. Now just one left. And that's almost dead. Yeah, it gets taken out. Oh, never mind. The brew lord does manage to pop, and some transfuse from some queens. I don't know. He might be able to do this. Is got enough transfuse left? No. Oh, never mind. See you later. Small force, but still a force nonetheless. Your Moving out here for Unix. And at this point, Bly does not have a lot left. Just a couple of Speelings. Coming out with a lot more Speelings and a few Infestors, but he's about to lose this expansion here. Again, with still a few Medivacs in play. Oh, expansion. What does it do? It disappears. <laughs> now we just still have this mining base here coming out with just more and more speedlings he, he's just going to go for a counter attack he's actually not even going to defend right now he's got this mining base although a drop over here is going to take care of that forces this lift off but he still has this to be worried about standing on the high ground Unix is uh, going to force all those drones off the line it's a siege tank to make that a little more difficult as well what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh boy. Okay, so some infested Terrans on the high ground. Going to do some damage there, trying to take out the tank. That's his primary focus. Does he get it? No, no he doesn't. That hurt. Also some more of a push coming out across the map, and this is looking very dire right now for Bly. There is the G, and that's the game. All right, my friends, that does it here in this game between Unix and Bly. A long, drawn-out game, but, you know, I don't think you see this quite often enough, so hopefully you enjoyed it. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Keep watching and keep owning.